So now in this video, we're going to use the photodiode here to charge the capacitor here at a steady rate, which will give us a waveform called a ramp, where the voltage rises steadily, so you get a straight line as the voltage rises steadily. We'll see that uh, coming up. So in any case, power supply is off right now. So for the photodiode, we want to reverse bias it. To uh, set the uh, current based on the light following it. So the long lead, the anode's going to go down one row. Short lead, the cathode, goes up here. And there we go. We got her in there. And we want to discharge the capacitor if it has any charge. And you should do this if it's uh, likely a lower voltage across it. But I'm just going to put both sides to the negative rail. And we short circuit it like that. Make sure it is discharged. It is polarized, it's a 1000 microfarad capacitor. So for a capacitor, it's a relatively large value capacitor. Of course there's a lot higher capacitances out there, but for basic circuits, this is a uh, fairly large capacitor. So we're going to zoom back. So the oscilloscope that I have here, it's a easy to use pocket oscilloscope. We got the cable there. And it comes to these two alligator clips. I clipped them to the jumper. One's already to the negative rail. And then we're going to plug the other one to the positive side of the capacitor. Right there. And after I get this set up, I'm going to be careful not to bump the photo diode anymore. And we will turn the uh, power on for the uh, pocket oscilloscope. It shouldn't take too long. And it holds the settings to where they are. So. Zero volts is that line down there. Looks like the capacitor is holding zero volts pretty well. I press the button and there you can see we have a steady increase in voltage. This is a five volt power supply. Each square going up is one volt. And there you can see at about with this setup four volts. Then I think some of it has to do with the resistor. I'm using a resistor to make sure we limit current. But you can see it goes up steadily until we get close to the power supply voltage. And we could use more voltage. We would uh, get a longer a longer line there. It would just, as long as the current is the same, so I'll discharge, you can see that it goes up. So now, I think that wasn't even the brightest setting. So let's uh, discharge this. And you're going to see it went up really fast, but it was straight line until we got up higher. So, oh, that was the lowest setting. I'm surprised. So, let's uh, kind of tilt it. We're getting less light on the photodiode now. And so it will pass less current, but it passes current pretty steadily. So, based on the light, and as long as there is enough of the power supply voltage there, you can see the ramp is going up a whole lot slower but it is going up steadily that's the main takeaway until we don't have enough voltage to sustain that anymore and uh, let's uh, short this out again and take another look you can see if the light changes unfortunately that ramp doesn't hold steady so you would have to have steady light but in case you can get an idea how much light was on it by how fast the voltage is rising if you took a look at this later on and uh, evaluated the uh, different voltages at different times. So, in any case, hope you found that uh, interesting. I try to come up with uh, interesting but simple circuits to cover the uh, basic electrical properties of components. So, hopefully, you enjoy them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.